Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and last night I thought about you guys when I went to take a shower and do my hair and I had several requests to do my hair and show you how I use the Dyson Air Wrap. So that is what I did. And so I am going to add that video to the end of this one. But what I wanted to do is show you, this is how I woke up this morning with my hair like this. So you'll see at the end of that video, how it looked. I did nothing else to it, went to sleep. I didn't clip it or anything. The only thing I do is in the mornings when I um, take Will to school, I put my hair up like this, just because I don't want the humidity to get to it when it's so early in the morning. Sometimes it's so foggy, you can't even hardly see. And um, so I'll show you what I usually do in the mornings. I take this brush, look at all the hair coming off of it, and I just kind of look at it, and sometimes I pick it up and I might brush this, and I brush the underneath. Let me stand up, hold on, because I'm usually standing up, so let me get my mirror here. Okay, so I usually kind of assess it and then I brush it underneath like that so that the back will look good like that. And then if there's any curls that just look bad, I might, I never brush it like all the way through like that, but what I'll do is I'll take like an individual curl like that one and brush it so that it looks fresh, but I, I want them to still stay kind of separate. And then that gives you that body up at the root. So let me look at this one. I'm having to use my phone again this morning. I used it last night. I cannot find a little, a little piece that goes to my camera that hooks onto my tripod. So I'm just using my phone and the tripod I got for it. And, and so that is, let's see brush that one out a little bit more and then that is it I don't even hairspray it or anything and anything else I want to tell you nothing I've got a few new things makeup things that I used but I have a Walmart beauty and fashion a beauty video coming up and a fashion video up so I'm kind of saving all my good stuff to show you then and I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then I will Matter of fact, I'll let you watch the video. I'll put it in here and then we'll come back and I'll do an outfit of the day. Hey everyone, it is about eight. I just looked, it's 8.53. And I thought I would show you tonight how I do my hair with the Dyson Air Wrap. This thing has just been wonderful. I love it so much. I just can't tell you enough good things about it. I got the original Dyson like hair dryer and I didn't care for that and so I exchanged it for this and it has been awesome. So I'm going to do my hair just like I typically would. Um, if this is kind of, I'm at a vulnerable state because I don't have any makeup on or anything, but this is just how I do it. I do my hair at night, I don't brush it, and let me get my spray, and I don't even hairspray it. I use, I'll show you everything I use. And um, then I'll finish this tomorrow and then you'll get to see how it goes. Really, if I were to do it for you during the day, it just wouldn't be the same. So, okay, I have been out of the shower probably for about 30 minutes and I use these hair wraps. Then I take this brush, it is the Wet Brush Pro, and I just start at the bottom, get all the tangles out of the bottom, like that. And then I'll kind of just start at this part right through here and just brush everything out. And I've got it just kind of like roughly brushed out, but I want to take two pumps of the Kerastase, the Oleo Complex, this is like the thickest one. I usually have two pumps and I put it in just the ends, like just what I can grab down. And I really work it into the ends. Okay. Then I'll take just a little bit of this Orbe Foundation Mist. This is kind of like, it says spray on wet hair or, or dry hair before styling or anytime it says style refresher. It's just something that doesn't have a whole lot of like oil or anything in it because I have the tape-in extensions 
so I can't have anything real slicky or oily around those. So I usually just take this and just like a couple, two or three sprays at the most. And then I'll finish kind of working everything through there. Okay, I'm gonna do like I've been doing the last couple videos where it's basically down the middle. My center part, I usually do a little bit off just because I have a cowlick right there. And um, Laura Vitale asked me to do a hair video and a couple of you had asked me so. I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and do this tonight while I have time. And I feel like it. John's out there watching a movie and Brooks with her boyfriend. Will is, I think, playing a game on the computer. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is start drying it with the, this, the drying thing. And I've heard some people say that this doesn't take the place of your dryer. For me, it does. I haven't touched another hair dryer since I got this. So I'm gonna dry it probably about, um, to about 75% dry. And um, I use it all the way up and the heat all the way up. And what I like about it is it really, it dries fast and it doesn't like blow your hair like all over the place. It keeps my hair going down. You know, and it's just, I love it. So I don't round brush it or anything. I just do this. Sometimes I get carried away and I even dry it too much. And if you dry it too much, then the curling part doesn't work as well. And it does not last as well if you dry it too much. So you see it's probably about, I would say about 65% dry or so. Okay, so what I do is I take my top section, okay, here, like I've got the tape in extensions. So I take just the top layer of my hair that has the extensions in it, and I wrap it up and clip it. And then I take the rest of my hair. So this is my hair. So I, the main reason I have the extensions is so I can have more length and thickness on my sides and my extensions are much lighter than my hair. So that enables me to have lightness and you know more blonde in my hair without having to bleach my own hair. So this is my hair. <laughs> and um, I wanna show you the shampoo I use tonight is the Monate Renew Shampoo. And then the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. So that is what I used. And then you know I put two pumps of this in and then I used probably two or three sprays of the Orbe. Now my favorite, favorite, favorite heat protectant and hairspray and everything is this. I'm on a third can now, I think. I think I just put one in my empties, but it is the, it says up to 78% reduction in breakage. Protects up to 450. Um, protect me. Don't get the bigger one that says like working hairspray. That is sticky. I tried it. You cannot, it will not even hardly wrap because it's so sticky. So this is hot tool protection and um, it's hot tool protection hairspray. So it does have a little bit of hold. But what you need to do is have this right here ready. Okay, we're going to take off this top real easy. And I use the biggest hair wraps. And so with my middle style that I've been doing lately, I do them both back. When I do it on the side and I'm doing more of those Hollywood type curls, I'll link that video up here. Then I would use one the whole way around. But with this particular style, I use this one on this side and this one on this side. Okay, so we're gonna start and you just pop this right on there. And here we go. So you start with little sections like that and then I spray 
like that. And I usually kind of run my fingers over it. And you just do it like this. Then I usually hold each section for about 15 seconds. And then you push up on this little thing and it does like a cooler air if I cool it. And then you turn it off and let it go. Now sometimes I can tell, like that one, I can tell didn't really, um, I actually think my section was too wide. If you, if you get your section too wide, it will not, um, curl up correctly. Okay, so hold your hair at the end so it'll wrap and then it'll wrap, see how it wrapped right up real neatly. It's just, some nights it works out better, some little sections work out better, but it always, you know, sometimes you just have to go back through and do it again. Okay, now I'm going to cool it. And then let go. Yeah, see how that seems much better. And then I just whip it back. And there's really no, you know, rhyme or reason. We'll figure out what sections will wrap up the best. What size sections. And because mine's kind of long, sometimes I have to keep it on there or help it. Okay, give it a cool air shot. Like you don't want a real wide section like that. I would break this one up. It's kind of a thin one, but we'll do it anyway. You have to you have to take the hair down at the end like that, or it won't wrap right. Sometimes I just help it a little bit like that. Put the cooler air. And let it down. Okay, let's see. Let me grab about this much. That's probably a little bit better. Cooler shot. They call it a cold shot. It's not cold, but it's just cooler air, so it probably does cool it down some. There we go. This stuff does have some hold. This one gets hot. When it's by your ear, it'll get hot. Okay. 
it. Okay, it's kind of like an odd little piece. You can see how much my curl my hair has in it already. So that probably does help it curl and last. I may have let these get too dry. I don't do these for 15 seconds because they don't need it. They're thinner and they hold curl easier and they're fragile. So I'll just do them for a few. I look and like I see this piece right here. It's kind of um like it needed a little freshen up. Now what you'll do is click that button. This thing's hot, so take this off and put the one that goes back the other way on there. We're gonna start on the other side. And let's see, this, okay. And I'll do a couple pieces and then we'll do the top. Okay, so spray that. And this side is just easier for me to do. This one's kind of awkward. But it always works out. You know it is. And then let it out. Okay, so spray it. You know, I usually run it through. Catch it. And I'm not turning the wand. It just you know, the wind or the, you know, I mean, the air will pull it right back around. I'll show you. I'll make that point again later. Cool shot. And then let it go. Okay, one more time, and then we'll, I'll do the rest, and then. Okay, let's do this piece right here. Watch how I do not turn this. Okay, so that's how it is. I am going to finish the rest of this and then I'll come right back. Okay, this is going to be more complicated for me than it will be for you because I have these extensions in. So I'm basically going to split it in the back. And I'm gonna start with this piece right here. Ooh, got a tangle in it. It's actually gotten too dry. Okay. do around my head again starting at the back like that and then I'll grab this 
next piece and usually has, it'll have of course some of my hair and then some of an extension. Like that. I don't separate my hair from the extensions because you want to curl them all together. You don't want it to be, you don't want them to be separated. And then you don't want to get the heat too close to your, because mine are tape in, so you don't want to get that heat too close to that tape either, so be careful. Like right there, I'm pushing it. And um, I talked to Morgan, and she said that we could do a, another hair video soon. And um, I'll get all the questions while I'm there and answer, figure out the answer on about my hair color and all that stuff. Okay, so you guys kind of probably getting it now. And sometimes, like, see that piece just doesn't want to go, so I'm just not going to make it. I'll catch it, catch it on the next time. And the extensions do take a little bit longer to dry, but it's not that big of a deal. If you have them, you know what I mean. Here's that. Okay, and then this is my front piece here. I'm definitely going to spray a heat protectant on it. And I'm not going to just, you know, do it back like that. I'm going to kind of let it catch. And the secret is to kind of do it down. I don't know. Kind of down and back. And a cold shot. And it'll look like that at first, but that's what gives you that little bit of straight part and then the rest. And so that is the curls that you ended up with. And see, like I can see right here that this is a little piece that has escaped. So I'm gonna grab them. Try to check the, the side before you switch to the other side. Same thing on this side, I'm gonna, I always start back here. Spray. You'll get a much better hold, even if you're using hairspray. If you will do each piece instead of spraying all over, all that does is kind of put everything down. You need to spray it as you're doing it. Oh, <laughs> you can see I had the wrong thing on it. Oh no. That happens a lot. Okay, let's try this again. I had this piece out. Okay. There we go. It does better if you'll hold it like with your hand, your left hand. She sounds so light-handed. I need to make myself use my left hand more because I'm just terrible with anything with my left hand. Okay, so there you've got that. Okay, I'm gonna finish all the way until I get to the front. Now, my bang area here, spray it. And then I'm gonna go, I'm not just gonna go back like this, I'm gonna go, uh, See how it's kind of like down and back? Yeah. 
cold shot. And then off. And it might look, you know, kind of crazy right now, <laughs> but you gotta remember, I'm gonna sleep on this. Okay, and then another thing I do is sometimes I'll take a little piece up here and I might just to get some extra curl right here at the root, I might pick it up a little bit higher. And that's gonna give you more body up there like that. Okay, like that. Hmm. Looks like I see a little piece right here too. You can you can go overboard. It isn't that big of a deal really to try to grab every single piece. But you know how it is. Then what I do is I take out my mirror and I turn in the mirror and I look at the back of it and see if I've missed anything. See if I've missed any sections. It looks like I got them all in the mirror. Okay, and this is what you should end up with. And then this is how I go to bed. And I used to, remember how I used to put it all up and you know put it back? I don't do that with this. I just let it go and then go to bed and then I'm gonna finish up tomorrow and show you the end of it, the final product. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you guys remember it. I got it from the Nordstrom sale and I'm so glad I kept this because it's perfect for this transition time where it's gonna be almost 80 degrees today. I'm so ready for some crisp fall weather. And, but yet I can still wear something that's a little bit more fall-like. And um, we're gonna do two pair of boots today and you guys tell me which ones you prefer. These are the Sam Edelman boots that I got from the Nordstrom sale. And I'm not sure if this color is still available. I will look, but I know the ones I really want now are the like snake print, the light snake print in this same boot is just amazing. So I've got those in my cart and I think Nordstrom is doing like a six times the points or something today. So um, I like these a lot and I think these look really good with the dress. It's definitely a boots look, but then I'm gonna try on another pair of boots and see if you maybe like those better. Okay, and then these are the Tory Burch boots like the black ones that I've shown you lately. And um, I'm bringing out my blue Balenciaga it kind of is a lot of blue, but I just want to use this and I thought it looked good. And um, so this would be kind of like a nude boot. And I love these. These are the first thing I fell in love with when we went in the Tory Burch store. This is my favorite thing I got out of all of it. They're just gorgeous boots. And I love like the like patchwork type. It's just so kind of 60s, 70s looking and um, they're just really soft and nice. I love these boots. I love both of them, but you can tell these are a nicer boot, but you know, those are good probably for the money too. And then one thing I wanted to say about the Balenciaga bags is I see so many of these on the Real Real, and the Balenciaga bags, part of them is being kind of worn in and you know, I don't know, they're just kind of a slouchy bag anyway. I really think if you like these, you would love some of those on the Real Real. I might even try to get one of the nude colored ones. And um, I just always see really good deals. Okay, and one thing I wanted to say too, I had a subscriber ask me if these Tory boots were hard to pull off because they don't have a zipper. They are not, but I do have on like some little socks, you know, so that my foot will kind of slip into that, the shoe part. So that really helps it. But when I tried them on in the store, I didn't even have that on. She finally made me put one of those socks on because she said to really tell how a boot feels, you need to have that on because you're, the way your foot's gonna shift when you walk. Because I was trying to decide between the eight and the eight and a half. And I'm so glad I did that because when I put the sock on, I realized I liked the eight 
better. When I put the little hose footy on with the eight and a half, it just slipped around too much. These, this is a beautiful boot, it really is. These have like a little bit of a side zip so you can get your foot down in there. And um, both boots are just, they're amazing. I'm so excited. So accessories, I've got a Miranda fried out today. I have on my L pendant, and then I've got on my J for John, of course, and my lightning bolt. And then I love this one because it has like the rhinestones in it. And then my rings. This is my favorite one. And then I just stacked these on my same nails that are Hello Kitty. I'll get them done again this coming weekend. I'm going out of town next week, so I want to get them done fresh for that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed my hair video, and I will see you again on Wednesday. See you then. Bye-bye.